it off. Cut it. How y'all doing in this garage? It's cute. Yeah. Give it up for Kev dipping the black dream. That Barry Gordon right there, I'm telling you. <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Kev on stage. Shout out to y'all goddamn keeping the union together on the internet. That shit hard to keep up online, boy. I can't, I try to give my wife a shout out. They roast me immediately. <laughs> I put a picture up with my wife. She done lost a hundred some pounds. I'm like, I took my queen to the Nas and Erica Badu concert here to celebrate her. She lost 137 pounds. They're like, why your fat ass ain't got there? Go with her. I'm like, hold on, fam. It's not my moment. It's not my moment. <laughs> she just went to the gym while you were asleep? Yes, she did. I, Somebody got to eat the four for fours with the kids. I'm making the sacrifices that need to be made. You understand? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the lesbians out here. It is no beef. I promise y'all. I don't know what it is about chubby studs that don't fuck with me. They, it's like it's beef in me. They walk up like, what's up, fat boy? What's happening? They grab their little strap on and shit. That bitch long as fuck. Bitch, your dick long as me. Damn, your dick big, Tamika. What the fuck? Put me on to the secrets, bitch. You, my, you got my same hips. You, how you got a big dick? They arrogant cause they get to pick their dick, Kev. Like, I got to roll with factory dick and I still this confident. Nigga, you know how, I got 90s Rough Rider cash money to a dick. My, <laughs> I got Motorola two-way page dick. This shit, this shit is vintage. <laughs> Try to be freaky with my wife. We trying to keep it up during the pandemic. We almost broke up during the pandemic because that Zoom school, boy. That shit have had you fucked up because you got to be a teacher a little bit. You got to wake up too. Like, damn, I don't be up like this with y'all on there. <laughs> Ain't nothing sadder than watching a child do PE in the living room of the laptop. That's the saddest shit. And like watching my kids do PE. They just, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Screensaver keep popping up. Eh? <laughs> This is bullshit. Thanksgiving coming up, man. But shout out to the lesbian too, man. Y'all get to pick y'all dick. Y'all get the platinum dick. I don't, I don't appreciate it. I wish I can go in the, like, the big one right there. Yep. Yeah, get the key. Get the key out the back. I want them. Go get, I'll wait for a manager. Yeah, call them. Platinum nigga. Yeah, I want them. Give me the Wesley Pipes. Shut the fuck up, dick, right there. Give me that. <laughs> nigga. I had to go back and finish up the lesbian jokes. <laughs> I gotta keep the beef going. I don't know why. They, apparently, I dress like a girl that sell pills in Atlanta. This girl named Percocet Pam look just like me somewhere. <laughs> Them niggas be walking straight. What's up, Pam? Got there, you fly. Oh, what's up, my bad, boy. <laughs> Thought she was goddamn Pam with the pills, boy. <laughs> Damn, boy. I mean, look. Look at Buddy Hill, they just like Pam's, ain't it? I mean, look at the whole trap. Look, that nigga Hill built like Pam. <laughs> Say, Pam is out here lit and shit. <laughs> Thanksgiving coming up, that's my shit, boy. Ooh, ooh. That's what my spirit doing inside. <laughs> as soon as he said it's a Thanksgiving show, my spirit said, Pam, Pam, go best friend. <laughs> <laughs> my, spirit, my spirit dropped to the ground, nigga. Like, is it eating month? Okay. <laughs> this is the one shit I've been able to look forward to as a child. Husky childs don't husky children, husky childs. That's not like a foundation for fat niggas and shit. Welcome to Husky Childs. Where you too can get a little nigga off diabetes. <laughs> just take him for a walk around the community. Just pick you up, any one of these fat motherfuckers. They just dropped them all off. But Husky Childs, man, being a Husky kid, Halloween was the worst shit ever. Because I could fit some of the costume. I couldn't fit all that bit. I could fit the Spider-Man boots and pants, but that goddamn top stopped right here, nigga. I like, fuck! <laughs> my mama being a smart black woman, she done made me put on her red negligee underneath that bitch. So my little, I got silk blousing underneath the goddamn... My shit, I got a couture goddamn runway ready Fashion Week Virgil Abloh original Spider-Man. <laughs> I ain't had a mask or nothing. I just got the costume on. They, they guessing everybody costume. Oh, you a policeman, you a fireman. Oh, he an auntie. Bitch, I'll beat your ass, boy. This bitch called me a wayward auntie. 
Don't disrespect my costume, bro. Thanksgiving, me and my little brother should look forward to that shit, because my dad's a chef. We get busy. Like, black people get busy anyway. All black people. Thanksgiving Thursday, we start cooking on Monday, right? Wasn't that torture as a child? You couldn't touch none of the shit? You, me and my little brother. Yo, all week you trying to get in the pots and shit. I'm about to go to school. My mom, get out them damn neck bones. I'm like, bitch, I have a test today. Um, you don't want me to be fully prepared. Was, I get on the bus. She ain't find the one in my pocket, though. Bam, bam, go best friend. You dig? <laughs> Y'all gonna be doing that shit tonight as soon as you get your food. Bam, bam, bitch. Thanksgiving is shit. Night before Thanksgiving at my house was like night before Christmas at any other child's house. <laughs> Remember how excited you was night before Christmas, nigga? Night before Thanksgiving, me and my brother in there on twin bed. We can't even sleep. We just looking at each other like, ah! He across the room. We just, ah! Hey, let me, hold on. Before you say something, let me ask you a serious question. What you gonna eat first? <laughs> I'm over here like, I'm gonna switch it up on the ad this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the pies and cakes first and then swing back to the dress. And he like, that's a good ass strategy, my boy. I might fuck with that too. <laughs> Look at everybody wanna do that. I'm gonna do dessert first too this year. That's what I'm gonna do. Another, another trick I got, I got, a, I got a Thanksgiving hack that I do for to cut down on your cooking time. I don't know if y'all fuck with the deep fried turkey. Anybody fuck with Southern Cajun deep fried turkey? Y'all see them online trying to do the shit in the garage and burn their house down. All that goofy shit. Don't do that. They sell them at Popeye's. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know this. They sell the shits at Popeye's already done, but it's like you got to put it in the oven for like 45 minutes. They sell it to you frozen. It's a big ass display. It's a whole campaign. I think Bojangles do it too, but it's already seasoned. Put the shit in the oven for 45 minutes. Boom. Tender ass, fried, delicious turkey. And I don't know what it is about when you try. Kev, I don't know how uh, many people ever tried to stop cussing before. Has anybody ever tried to stop cussing? Like you just told you, say, I ain't gonna cuss no more. I don't went to church with my mom and my brother, my kids and shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna cuss no more. So I, I, after church, I swing by the Popeyes to get some turkeys. I'm gonna get the one for my family. I'm gonna get the one for my mama too. So I go in there and I don't know what it is about Popeyes employees. They don't have the best spirit at all times. <laughs> <sighs> I walk in. <laughs> so I knew it was. Uh, I walk in. She just. <sighs> <laughs> Welcome to Popeyes. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's, you want some or not, fat boy? Hurry up, the fuck! <laughs> no way, pipe down, Jesus. <laughs> she pulled a chop underneath. Hold on, put it, put the gun down. I'm happy too. I'm still trying to keep my spirit. I'm like, no, no weapon form against me. I'm like, ma'am, I would like two of the fried turkeys for the display. You know, they frozen. Let me get two of them. <sighs> She gonna type it in. Um, you want them for here or to go? I said, bitch, I don't. I'm not finna sit and eat no two whole frozen turkeys in the dining area. Not tonight. Not, not without bread, bitch. Or I'm not a savage. What are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck? I think they skipping the movement in the, in the community. All the shout out to the LGTB, y'all getting everything y'all asking for. Y'all niggas kicking ass right now. They should they skipped the fat people. We should, we we got skipped in the rights and shit. They they be like, don't troll gay people. Shut your fat ass up. Wait a minute. We, am I not human? Do I not bleed? It, I know my blood seasoned in the motherfucker, but shut your fat ass up. It's our march. Bitch, I, my car was over here. I was trying to get them. I ain't got no marching body. You kiss my ass. <laughs> fat ass up. It's our march. You don't even have a flag for fat people. All right, bitch. We, we do, nigga. Win this, motherfucker. Shut up. Shut your ass up. <laughs> they miss out on everything. They done made, back, they done made Superman brother bisexual and shit. Like, I think y'all missed the whole opportunity to make Superman. Why Superman couldn't be fat for a year? Why Superman couldn't break up with Lois Lane and just, just develop like a... 
<laughs> just develop an edibles habit. Edibles got kryptonite in it. He get fat. This nigga, Superman 350, he flying low as hell, depressed. <laughs> Lois Lane fucking Jamal from the Gazette. This nigga got a blog and a YouTube verification check. They missed the whole opportunity. Could have made Fat Panther. What about Fat Panther? You will be stripped of the powers of the fat panda. <laughs> and just lay my ass down in the grave and cover me with like Chick-fil-A patties. <laughs> Nigga just catch gout dead in the thing. <laughs> my feet are swollen up. I'm ready to see the ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> fat panther got to call out a superhero work and shit. I can't go with my foot swole, man. I can't even. This nigga in the... <laughs> This nigga would kinda eat celery and shit. Like, they done caught me slipping with the sodium. <laughs> my, I gotta do shit to make myself feel sexy. I, it's, it take a lot to make me feel sexy, cause like I watch 600 pound life, butt ass naked, like I'm doing it in them motherfuckers. I'm killing everybody on all these seasons. I'm fucking, I be touching my toes and shit while I'm doing it, nigga, doing the soldier boys. Fuck wrong with y'all, nigga. <laughs> Fuck wrong with y'all, <laughs> I feel good watching that shit. I get butt-ass naked, parent, parent, go, that's great. Cause they be big as hell on them. The funniest part about 600 Pound Life is all the women are not single. <laughs> you ever watch 600 Pound Life with a single woman? Especially if it's a black woman on there. You watch a single woman in the room, they show, this is Tamika. She got, the big girl on 600 Pound Life, I've got a beautiful hair, dude, nails did. I just uh, start gaining weight when my brother passed. <laughs> then they pan to the boyfriend, this goofy ass, low self esteem ass nigga with his shirt tucked in. Yeah, when her brother died, I moved right in. Get your simple ass, get your weak ass out of here, nigga. Fucking weak ass nigga. <laughs> she be jazzy too. You ever see the black girl on there that's jazz, got her hair done? She, she, getting, she getting hollered at online. She on like a foot website for fat foot bitches or something. She making money. You know, I seen this girl cuss her boyfriend out on there. I was appalled and shocked. Right after he just got through washing her big ass out. That nigga done got all up in the gushes on both sides. Done lost a watch. Dried her off. She's sitting in front of the fan cussing this nigga out. You don't do shit for me. I said, it looks like he just watched the expedition, bitch. He detailed the shit out this truck. <laughs> this nigga was in that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> that nigga was in that bitch, boy. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I got to get out of here, but I, I wanted to tell one more joke because I'm. Uh, I appreciate Kev, man, because. I gotta thank Kev because he put me on a platform where motherfuckers saw me and I've been doing comedy for years and millions of motherfuckers that never saw me. I was like, where this nigga been? Oh shit, Kev got the fat nigga at the door. So all my shit went up. <laughs> Appreciate all my, like, he got, he, I, I, when I did the last Keep It This, I said, Kev, can I put some of the tape up? He said, man, put the whole shit up. And my page monetized. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you $800. But. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, appreciate niggas reaching back for, for motherfuckers who need a shot, man. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've been doing this shit a long time. Me and my wife, because we got to make sacrifices. I just left my, my, my wife. We just had our anniversary on the 25th, 17 years. Give it up for that shit. 17 years. Right after that, it was my son's sixth birthday. So it's like been a crazy week of birthdays and all kind of shit. And I had to get ready for this. But the cool part is I got, just to get that heat, I pre I'm telling you this because niggas started booking me after they, after they saw you fucking with me. And then, yeah, 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 for real, for real. So a nigga got to take his wife on vacation. I ain't been on vacation in like three years. It was so nice. We spent eight days in the Dominican. It was supposed to be six but we forgot to get the COVID test before we went back. And like, take y'all ass back to the Dominican, boy. Y'all got that swab y'all know before y'all come back. But all married people know, when you go out the country, you think it's finna be some prime time fucking. I was in the gym, like a single mother for like a week. Like, bitch, I'm finna. I was focused, I was locked in on tan pussy down. Got there, this bitch took 33 naps. I said, God damn. I don't woe this black woman's soul out. She just needed some rest, Jesus. Is this nigga an airbender? Like, what this fuck? <laughs> I'm, 
I'm with, you know how when you hide, like, I know this nigga got the little thing on his head. <laughs> Stand up so they can see. Turn around right here. Look at him. Hell yeah, that nigga there. What's up? Appreciate you with the good energy, my boy. You scared the shit out of me, goddamn. <laughs> that nigga, he had an air I saw. He finna make me levitate. Put me down, huh, boy. <laughs> That'll be funny as hell. You think you funny, fat nigga? I'm like, but this shit's stupid. I hey, can't take this. Take this shit. <laughs> <We saw. laughs> you know the worst part about going on a trip with your wife is she taking 33 naps. I had to do all the dumbass activities alone. That was some stupid ass shit. You ever see a fat nigga in a canoe? That shit was the worst shit. <laughs> I mean, the canoe, that bitch standing straight up in there. I mean, that bitch like, it ain't doing shit. My shit just doing the circle with the nose up. <laughs> and my, <laughs> I went zip lining by myself. That was some bullshit. They strapped my big ass in. I went straight to the bottom and just had to walk across. This is. So fucked up! Hey, the squeeze through the canyon got now. Wait till I finish! Don't you go, nigga, you gonna run into me. <laughs> hey, my name is Ronnie Jordan. Y'all shop at Official Bliss Day. Uh.